Morning, everybody, and welcome to today's morning market. So today I'm going to focus in on yesterday's asset price moves and also today's positive UK house price data. So just to dive into yesterday's asset market returns, and let's start with equities. So pleasingly, all equity markets yesterday, the main equity markets, provided positive returns overall. If we look at the US, the US was up 1% on the day. And if we actually dig into that a little bit, all sectors were actually up on the day. So what you've seen is very much a broad-based recovery rally overall. If we dig into some of the stocks, so some of those big mega cap tech stocks, again, some of these have been struggling over the past few weeks. What you've seen is both NVIDIA and Meta, so Facebook to you and me, uh, were both up 4% on the day. If you look at other asset classes, uh, you saw a bit of weakness coming through in gold and in sovereign bonds, but that should be expected because what you're seeing is investors rotating towards equities, a willingness to add risk within their portfolios overall. And then just fast forward into this morning, what do we have for you for today? we have the Halifax UK house price survey. So just to give you some numbers right now, so what you've seen is the house price index in the UK jumped up by 2.3% year on year for July, and that was up from a revised 1.9% increase in June. If we try and put that into context, what does that actually mean for house values? So a typical UK home now costs 291,268, and that is up from 289,042 pounds from the previous month. If we just dig into some of the commentary, so Amanda Bryden, so she's head of mortgages at Halifax, she said a lot of things that, that you would expect. So she's come out and said that the Bank of England's rate cut and therefore lower mortgage rates are clearly encouraging for the housing market, but a little bit nervous around those who are remortgaging and also the availability and continued property shortages that we have within the UK overall. If we look regionally, uh, Northern Ireland actually posted the strongest property price growth over that time period, so over that one year to July, up 5.8%, and that was up from 4.1% in June. If we look just on a monthly basis, and we look at the whole index, so we look at all regions in tandem, you can see that house prices rose by around about 0.8%, and that has come in after stalling in June, so that was ahead of what the market was expecting, which was a 0.3% rise. So that's everything from me. Uh, hopefully some positive news for those of you that are homeowners. Definitely some positive news for those of you that are invested with us here at True Potential. As ever, we will monitor everything that is happening. And as a team, we'll come back to your morning markets with our thoughts. Thank you very much.